Hi everyone, we're going to check out this cult classic, uh, The Snatcher by Hideo Kojima. It's uh, one of his first games before the Metal Gear series shot him into fame. It didn't do too well in the West. The Sega CD version is the only version translated to English, so we're going to go check that out. I've always wanted to play it. Today seems to be that day. Um, I'll also be checking out Police Notes as well, which has been translated on the Sega Saturn, so I'll check that out afterwards. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy it. facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the Catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? Fifty years later, mankind faces its greatest crisis. The appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some other world? They appear during winter, killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine, they're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as... Snatchers.
was work? Everything okay? Hmm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Estimated age, 31. Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian Neutral Zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia, their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a Junker, effective today. Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet you.
Gillian's fine. You can call me Gillian, Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the Chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. should be enough to make your duties as a Junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you.
Oh good, Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mop 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. It's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it.
video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M District. Request immediate backup. Killian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Now departing for the abandoned factory. My first day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is corner of the suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean-Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution.
What the? It's Little John. Little John? Yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator.
Thus, I strongly suggest that the tissue sample with plus gross skin cells was scraped from the subject during a struggle with John. These skin cells almost certainly came from a female European blood type or negative snatcher.
operation on the caloric region of the gastric membrane. So, John had an ulcer, huh? Yes. In addition, I read a substantial quantity of partially digested organic compounds. Organic compounds? If you can determine the composition and the degree to which the food's been digested, we may be able to figure out where jean has been. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
We're getting out of here! Sorry, I cannot go with you! What's wrong with you? Hurry it up! I am incapable of locomotion! What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! Jeez, my ears are really ringing. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker Headquarters. We've returned to Junker Headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the Chief's office. Well, Seed, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. Junker has returned. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. I really... You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry! What kind of backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better Junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip.
kind of medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez, it looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. Then what was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo.
The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe.
hell are you? I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. You an investigator too, huh? Can't trust him. All right, let's have the password. The password?
Is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep.
very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Sean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Seed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Seed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina, you're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. You were such a gentleman. Don't come back either.
Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen causing throat pain and sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A snatcher, maybe. Katrina, you stay here. Just a crow. Stupid bird.
Let me give you my address and video phone number. Now give me a call if anything comes up. Thanks again, Mr. Seed. Take care.
for calling Plato's Cavern, the store with everything. May I help you?
The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe. getting our fortune told. We must get in line. All right, who's next? Uh, that's me. Put your face up against here. Look straight ahead. Okay, I've got your retina pattern. What's on your mind? Ah, uh, let's see. How about my prospects for marriage? Marriage? But Gillian... Hush, Mel. Don't worry about it. So marriage is it? Hmm. Ah! Okay, that should do it. Well, what's the outlook? Your marriage line is in a high state of disorder. Disorder? Divorce? Separation? You have a failed marriage, yes. Uh, yeah, that, that's right. And let's see. That's not all. Yes! You are suffering from a memory loss, yes? How can you tell all that? The eyes are the windows of the soul. Well then, how can I make things work out with her again? That's up to you. If you have no memories, then make new ones. <laughs> oh really? 
just like that? The future is what you make of it. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, thank you. Metal, did you hear what she said? I've always thought those fortune tellers were frauds, but that was impressive. Gillian, do you actually believe what the woman said? Yeah, she was right on the mark. Her clairvoyance is quite elementary. She scanned your retina pattern, correct? Yeah, so? The retinal patterns of all citizens are stored in the Alpha One database, including yours. All that woman did was retrieve your personal data from Alpha One by executing a search for your retinal pattern. That so-called fortune teller is really just a hacker, reading your personal information from the database. Then... then what about me and Jamie? It is just as she said. The future is what you make of it. Jeez. I can't believe I fell for that. Cheating old hag.
try one of these floating pizza things. Sounds good to me. Uh, give us two regular Neo Kobe pizzas. Two coming up. You've got to put it in the soup yourself, okay? Okay. Here we go, Metal. Here's yours. Let's put them in on the count of three, okay? They get bland and soggy if they stay in too long. No problem. Ready? One, two, three. Very good. Now in a few seconds, they'll come floating up. When they do, pull yours out right away, okay? Don't mess it up. I'm ready. Come on up, little fellas. Hey, here comes one. Oh, that's mine. Come here, you. Nice snag there, Metal. Hey, where's mine? Oh, this is unusual. Oh. I wonder what the problem is. I want my pizza. Where's my pizza? What's the problem? Yours not coming back up? My pizza? Hey, really sorry about that. Happens every now and then. You'll forgive us there, won't you now, buddy? <sighs> Gillian, perhaps we should go. My Neo Kobe pizza. It sank just like the rest of this city's gonna... Let's get going, Gillian. I can't believe that. I'll never waste my money on one of those stupid things again. Welcome to Outer Heaven! Table for one?
Consciousness. Excellent shot, Gillian, hitting him in the hand like that. That's not exactly how I planned it. shot is justifiable as self-defense. Killing this suspect would violate Section 5, Article 2 of the Junker Bylaws. You must first have concrete evidence that he is a snatcher. Damn! We should search his bathroom. We may find sunscreen there. Good point. Okay, let's move into the bathroom.
So that about explains everything, doesn't it? Yes. It appears that Ivan was simply trying to conceal the fact that he is a drug user. An air surfer, huh? Plenty of suntan oil. Out there soaking up lots of ultraviolet rays. And tanned quite brown by those rays as well. But he doesn't have so much as a pimple. Not what I'd call your typical artificial skin user. Ivan is apparently not a snatcher. All right, buddy, get up. Hey, I only do liquid sky, dude. Just once in a while. I swear, I don't touch anything else. Don't hurt me, man. Come on. Call me an ambulance, will ya? I'm no cop. I'm a junker. I couldn't care less if you're a buyer, a pusher, or what. What I want to know is if you're a snatcher or human. Gillian, Ivan's skin is healthy. There is no way he could be a snatcher and tan like that without developing melanoma. However, HQ has just transmitted us a scanning warrant. Therefore, under the provisions of Section 18 of the Civil Code, Snatchers and the Protection of Citizens' Rights, I will hereby commence a full bioscan of Ivan. Analysis complete. Ivan Rodriguez is a completely normal Homo sapien. Oh, I keep telling you, dude, I ain't no snatcher or whatever. Now, would you please get me a doctor? Why don't you just put some of your drugs on it? Hey, I wasn't doing anything wrong, man. The friendly boys from Narcotics will be here any time now. Save your breath for them. Come on, dude, I ain't done nothing. I'm just in the air surfing. I just wanted to win the competition, man. I needed some money for that, okay? Hey, it's just drugs, man. Well, Ivan Rodriguez sure wasn't our man. Too bad for him that he happened to look like the snatcher we're after. That leaves Freddy Nielsen.
junker. All right, just a minute. Gillian, please use extreme caution. Huh? A woman?
this isn't enough to prove that our Freddy Nielsen is a snatcher. True. Without more evidence, we cannot get a scanning warrant. Uh, we'd like to take a look in your bathroom, if you don't mind. Oh, you need to use the bathroom? No, we'd like to investigate your bathroom. Really? Whatever. Please, go right ahead. There's no mistake. Freddy Nielsen is a snatcher. Gillian, with this much evidence, there will be no difficulty getting a scanning warrant. We've got you now, snatcher scum. So, you figured it out, huh? Who's that? Know all about us, do you, Junker? That... that wound! John did that to her. Die, Junker! things don't go down easy. So, this is a snatcher, huh? I certainly hope it's dead. So it was Lisa and Freddy who killed John. Freddy, that's right! So where's he? We can contact the Jug Collection team later. Let's get out of this apartment for now. We're outside now. What the? A light just came on. There's not supposed to be anybody in there. Perhaps Freddy has returned. There's only one entrance and we're standing right next to it. How did he get in there? Shall we investigate?
Open it. Okay. Now establishing Alpha-1 link. Link made. Executing search for lock code of apartment 202. Hurry it up! Just a bit longer. I'm in Alpha-1's maintenance records for the MR district. Lock code found. Now opening the door. Good work! Tub is empty. That thing was filled with water just a few minutes ago. I read motion. This room. Damn. Where is he? Gillian, behind you. That was close. You're lucky I was here to save your skin. Who are you? Me? Random Haji. Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter? Yes, Gillian, a bounty hunter. As the Junker profession is so dangerous, their numbers have fallen dramatically over the past few years. As a result, the government decided to put a price on Snatcher's heads in order to encourage private citizens to cooperate in the effort to track them down. Naturally, these bounty hunters must register with the authorities. You said your name's Random, right? Uh, what did you do? Follow me here? Yeah, you got it. Investigations aren't my style. You track them down, I take them out. You have the legal obligation to state your bounty hunter registration number. Please do so now, immediately. <sighs> BH75001 Random Hajil. That's R A N D O M H A J I L E. BH75001 Random Hajil. That's confirmed. I officially recognize you as a legal bounty hunter. Wow. Gillian, records indicate that he has already disposed of three Snatchers just this month. Counting Freddy, that makes four. Four? I've been at this a lot longer than you have. Just relax, rookie. So, Junker Boy, let me give you a little tip. You might already know, but Snatchers' weak point is their artificial skin. If they sit out in the sun too long, they get cancer. That's why they set up a hospital to treat this little problem of theirs. You find it, you can take them out, roots and all. Where did you get all your information? Wait a sec, you stole it from Gibson, didn't you? That's not really important. But now that Gibson's out of the picture, I need you to get busy. I track them down and you junk them, is that the idea? Anyhow, it seems Gibson found that hospital. He must have left behind some information about it. What do you mean, seems? Don't you know anything about it? Hey, investigations are your job, right? I owe you one, Random. Yeah, I'll get it out of you later. See ya, Junker Boy. A Snatcher-controlled hospital, eh? There's bound to be more than a few of them in there.
Okay, let's try to sort all this out. Metal Gear, would you mind helping out? Not at all. Now projecting recorded video images. Gibson calls in and you two immediately head for the abandoned factory in the M District. But when you arrived, Gibson had already been killed by someone or something at the factory. From hair and skin samples recovered from his body, you determined that the perpetrators were two snatchers, one male and one female. In addition, from a floppy disk containing notes from Gibson's investigation, you discovered that snatchers have a crucial defect. Gibson was apparently killed because he had learned about this weak point. And this weak point is a key difference between them and real humans. Their artificial skin cannot tolerate ultraviolet rays. Long-term exposure causes it to become cancerous, a form of melanoma. This severely limits the places and times that they can operate to midwinter, when daylight hours are their shortest, and of course at night. And it looks as if it will take at least six months for them to develop a new skin which overcomes this fault. So their biggest weak point was that they had to keep themselves protected from ultraviolet rays over the past six months. Hmm, Gibson really put his earlier training as a science cop to good use in figuring this one out. And that's why they use plenty of sunscreen, even in the middle of the winter. As a result of this, it becomes clear that there is one thing they must have to continue their survival. And that is medical facilities, where they can treat artificial skin which has become cancerous. And it appears that Gibson may have located a hospital used for this very purpose. In an effort to determine where Gibson had been investigating, you analyzed his stomach contents, found buffalo meat, and headed to the only place in the city that serves it, Outer Heaven. Isabella Velvet, a dancer at this place, gives you a description, which allows you to put together a montage of the man Gibson was trying to track down. You then ran this montage through the city's data bank, using Jordan. And that gave you two suspects, Ivan Rodriguez and Freddie Nielsen. But from the condition of Ivan's skin, you determined that there was no possibility he could be a snatcher. There was no evidence at all of melanoma. But as he was in possession of Liquid Sky, you turned him over to narcotics. Following that, a search of Freddie Nielsen's home turned up large quantities of sunscreen. Nielsen's wife, Lisa Nielsen, turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of her. And you confirm that the skin cells found under Gibson's nails were from Lisa. Freddie Nielsen also turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of him as well. The hair sample that was found in Gibson's hand is confirmed as being from Freddy. So you are able to determine that these two snatchers, Freddy and Lisa, were the ones who killed Gibson. But then we have a problem. The bounty hunter who saved you, Seed, Random Hajil. An investigation uncovers that the information he provided when he filled out his bounty hunter registration was completely false. So who is this guy? Friend or foe? What about the bank account he was having his bounty deposited into? It was a common account used for paying bounty, and the funds were retransferred from there. We couldn't learn anything from it. Thank you, Metal. And now for the real fun. The hospital that Gibson had tracked down. If we can hit that, we may be able to shut down this snatch operation of theirs. Or if we can find some kind of patient records there, we may be able to find them quite easily. So, Little John's memory might provide us with an important lead. That's right. If we're lucky, there may be something left that we can work with. Navigators record everything their junkers do, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, this looks like one of those cases. Harry should have recovered it by now. Go see how he's doing. Seed, I'm counting on you to find this hospital. <laughs>